हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जावा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन चैप्टर नंबर फाइव इंटरव्यू सेशन आर टॉपिक्स आर व्हाट इज सेलो कॉपी व्हाट इज डीप कॉपी डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेलो एंड डीप कॉपी क्लोनिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन जावा एंड व्हेन वी गेट क्लोन नॉट सपोर्ट एक्सेप्शन दिस इज बेसिकली फॉर टू टू थ्री ईयर एक्सपीरियंस पीपल इवन थ्री प्लस ईयर एक्सपीरियंस पीपल कैन फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम बिफोर गोइंग टू द सेशन आई हैव आर्स वन पजल इन माई प्रीवियस सेशन so what was the puzzle a man lives on the 10th floor of a building every day he takes the elevator to go down to the ground floor to go to work or to shopping when he returns he takes the elevator to the 7th floor and walks up the stairs to reach his apartment on the 10th floor he hate walking so why does he do it so here is the answer for that He is too short to reach the button for the tenth floor. So probably his height would be small, so that he will not able to reach to the button of tenth floor. There are few more answer for this puzzle, but I found this one as the accurate one. So let's move to the session now. Cello copy. The default version of clone method creates the cello copy of an object. A cello copy of an object will have exactly copy of all the fields of the original object. If original object has any reference to other object as fields, then only reference of those object are copied into the clone object. Copy of those object are not created. I think still confusion is there. What exactly is cello copy? So let's try to understand with the diagram. So let's. assume we have an object o1 and we have two reference object so what cello copy does so cello copy let, uh, let's assume we have other object o2 and just we want the cello copy for this cello copy of o1 so how it works so let's understand now so If original object has any reference to other object as the field, that's A and B, then only reference of those object are copied into the clone object. So you can see this is not created newly. Only the reference of those object are copied into clone object. Copy of those object are not created. I didn't create A A again. Only the reference it is created. So what happens? Suppose you want a clone object. So how many object it created newly? So we had three, O one, A B, and when we clone one object, it created only one, which is not the case in the deep cloning. So we'll understand the deep cloning before that. We'll go to the eclipse and we'll see how it works. So from here you can see any changes in the A or B. will reflect both o1 and o2 so this will see in the example we'll go to the eclipse and we'll try to execute this so to save our time i already written the code for that i'll i'll tell you what exactly the code is so here i have created one cello copy class and i have two variable string i and j so in the main method i am creating cello copy color new cello copy so i am creating the object of cello copy and i am copying cello copy color to equal to color means i am creating a cello copy with new object color to so what is happening now if i assign color dot i equal to red so i have created two variables so i am assigning the value on that red and green So now I want to change the value of i for color two, not for color. So if I change for this, and if I execute, let's see the result. So I'm printing both the object. I have added here two string so that it should be in the proper format. So let's see. I assigned i and j red green, but I change the i with blue, so it changed for both the objects. Okay, so that means what we have seen in the diagram that if we change 
anything inside A and B will reflect on both O1 and O2. So this is shallow copy. Let's move to the deep copy. So deep copy is fully independent copy of an object. If we copied our O1 object, we would copy the entire object structure. So suppose this is one structure. O1 has two object reference A and B. And if we copy and create O2, it will be three more object is getting created. But in the shallow copy, we have seen only one extra object is getting created. Now, if I change anything inside A, it will not reflect on O2. Anything we change in B for O2, it will not reflect in B of O1. So let's see the example in the Eclipse now. So here's the deep copy. How I am copying it? I am created an object of deep copy color and an object of color 2. So I am assigning the value of color dot i and j as color dot i and color dot j. So this is different now and this structure is different as, a, as we have seen in the diagram. So now let's print this. So here you can see I assigned color dot i red and j blue and then I copied color dot i to the color 2 dot i and color dot j to color 2 dot j. So this is now red and blue. Now I change color dot j that means the first object value of j I change to green. Now what is the output? Red and green for color object but it didn't change in the color 2 object because we copied the previously assigned value red and blue and it is still the same. The only change is on the color that is our first object. So now we understood shallow copy and deep copy. But what is the drawback in both of that? In first one, when we are changing some value to any of the reference, it is getting changed in both the objects. So for that we came up with the solution deep copy. So deep copy, now the problem in deep copy is you can see from the structure. So suppose we have here A, B and it goes suppose some 100 objects reference. Now if we create a copy of O1, so again some 100 objects will get created. So that is very difficult to manage. And for every value we have to write like color dot i j and then z something like that for 100 times so that will increase our line of codes hope it is clear so we came up the solution of cloning where we'll write something which is similar to shallow copy but we get something like deep copy let's understand the definition first so cloning concept in java is the clone method of java.lang.object class is used for cloning process. This method creates an exact copy of an object on which it is called through field by field assignment and returns the reference of that object. Not all the objects in Java are eligible for cloning process. This will see the object which implements clonable interface are only eligible for cloning process. So we'll see this in the Eclipse. We'll execute it and we'll see the result. Let's flip to the Eclipse. Here you can see I have created one object color and I assign value to i and j red blue. Now I am creating the clone of color that is color 2. And how I am doing this? This is the process of doing cloning. Okay and then I change color 2 dot j equal to green. Okay. So now if I run, if I execute both color and color 2, Let's see the result. Oh, it is giving me error clone not supported exception. If you remember, one of the topic I promised to explain is clone not supported exception. Even an interviewer can ask you what is clone not supported exception in cloning. So why we are getting this clone not supported? When I wrote this code, it the Eclipse suggested me to put it in the try catch block because it gives a clone not support exception. And why I am getting this clone not support exception? Because I didn't implement clonable interface. 
and that's why I'm getting clone not support exception. So clone is supported only if you implement cloneable interface. Let's type this. Okay, now try to execute this. Here is this. I change here color to dot j to green, but it didn't reflect in the color object. And you can see here, I have wrote only this line of code. I, I'm not copied all i, j, every variable. So hope this is clear now. We'll move to our next question. What is different between shallow copy versus deep copy? Hope many of you will be able to answer. So let's read this difference. Shallow copy. Clone object or original object are not 100% disjoint. We have seen this. Clone object or original object are 100% disjoint. Any changes made to the clone object will be reflected in original object or vice versa. That also we have seen in the example. Any changes made to the clone object will not be reflected in original object or vice versa. Default version of clone method creates the shallow copy. This is the definition. In the definition only, we have seen this. To create the deep copy object, you have to override clone method. Shallow copy is preferred if an object has only primitive fields, and deep copy is preferred if an object has reference to other object as fields. Shallow copy is fast and also less expensive. Deep copy is slow and very expensive because we have created some more extra objects. So hope it is clear now. That's all for this session. We'll see what is the puzzle in this session. Puzzle for this session is by using your numerical and logical reasoning skills. Please try to figure out which number is missing in the question below. The numbers around will give you the clues you need to solve the puzzle. So here this number is missing from this whole diagram you can find out this value if you want some hint there is a hint for you it can be 9 4 5 6 one value will come here I'll give you the answer in my next session till that bye bye see you have a nice day thanks for watching